Okay, so great, you get to listen to my voice a little bit more. So I'm going to show you a little bit about the structure of the atom to make sure you understand where the protons, neutrons, and electrons belong. On this interactive thing you guys are going to practice in a few minutes, you're going to build your own atoms. And so what I'm going to do is up here we have electrons and neutrons and protons, and we're going to build some simple atoms just to show you where the particles go and where the mass is located. So let's say I wanted to build an atom of carbon. Now I look at the periodic table and I find out that carbon has six as its atomic number. So that means it has six protons. So I'm going to grab a proton here and I'm going to start putting them in the nucleus of the atom. This is the nucleus of the atom here in the center. So I'm going to build one, two, notice how it's populating over here for me what atom I have three, four, five, and six. So now I've got carbon. But there's only one problem is that so far I've only got six protons. I need to now put my neutrons inside of the nucleus of the atom too. Now we know that there are six neutrons in carbon because it has the atomic number of six and atomic mass of 12. 12 minus six is six. So I'm gonna bring over six neutrons, one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we see the atomic number of six and the atomic mass of 12. But notice it's got this charge here. I also need six electrons and right now I've got none. So I'm gonna bring over six electrons. And here we usually start in the center and work our way out. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And now I have a neutral atom of carbon. But remember in the lab we talked about the fact that some atoms are not always going to be neutral. And we called that exception an ion. So an ion is when I have either more electrons than protons or less. So right now I have six protons and I've got six electrons you can see here. But what would happen to the atom if I took away an electron? So I'm going to back an electron out of here. And now I've only got five electrons. Now it is a positively charged ion. And you can see right here it talks about that positive ion. So I've got more protons, one, two, three, four, five, six, than I have electrons, one, two, three, four, five. Now we can also have a negative ion if I have more electrons. So notice now I've got seven electrons but only six protons and that means that I have got a negative ion. Now the other exception to the rule is if I have more neutrons or less neutrons than I'm supposed to. So the periodic table tells me I should have six neutrons but let's say I added another neutron. What happens? Well this is telling me it's unstable and that means it's making an isotope. And an isotope means I've got more neutrons or less neutrons than what I would typically have. So here, let's say I took away a neutron. And let's say I took away another neutron. Okay, now it's saying unstable again. So isotopes are usually going to be unstable atoms that have more or less neutrons than they should. Lastly, let's go back to just having a plain old neutral atom. So I'm going to take back one of my electrons. I'm going to add in a neutron. So now I've got a stable, just neutral atom of carbon. But what happens if I add another proton? Make a prediction. What's going to happen if I add another proton to this carbon atom? The suspense is killing me. Let's find out. So I take another proton and I add it to the carbon atom and watch what happens it turns into a whole nother atom. It makes nitrogen. So changing the number of protons in the atom makes a whole new atom. It changes the identity completely. So let's review what we talked about here. We talked about neutral atoms. That's when the number of protons and the number of electrons are the same and I get my protons, neutrons, and electrons from the periodic table. Then we talked about an ion, which means I have more or less 
electrons. So for example, if I take away an electron, now I've got a positive ion. If I add extra electrons, now I've got negative ion because there are more electrons than protons. Then we talked next about an isotope, which is when I have an unstable atom with more or less neutrons. So here I add a neutron and it becomes unstable. Notice it also changes its mass. Or if I take away some neutrons and I change the mass again and it becomes unstable. And then lastly we said if we change the number of protons it changes the atom. So watch if I take away a proton and go from having six now to five I change the atom altogether to now a boron atom. And that is just a little bit about the main types of atoms. Neutral atoms, ions, isotopes, and what happens if we change the number of protons.